वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू माई चैनल माई वे लर्निंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वाटर स्कैरसिटी एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वाटर 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 एवरीवेयर बट नो वाटर टू ड्रिंक हैव यू हर्ड दिस लाइन्स वट डज इट मीन अवर अर्थ इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ब्लू प्लैनेट डू यू नो वाई बिकॉज थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ इट्स सरफेस is covered with water then what is the need of that saying there is no water to drink or why there is scarcity of water because maximum of that water is present in the form of ocean and sea as the sea water is salty it cannot be used in our daily needs in our fields and not even in our factories because the salt present in that damage our factory tools machineries damage our field and also we can't drink it so where is the water which we use that is present in river streams or lake which is very less in quantity this means the amount of water available for our survival is very limited this limited amount of fresh water is further decreasing due to various factor and hence there is scarcity of water now let us learn what are the factor that causes shortage of water one of the main factor is population as the population is increasing day by day the demand of water also increased as you know more and more people need more and more water but supply is in limit hence the amount of water available for each person is decreasing day by day what does it mean that mean each and every person rent roughly needs around 700 to 800 liter of water every day so if our population increasing day by day and we multiply that with 700 liter it also increases but river water or the lake water is not increasing by the same speed so there is scarcity of water the another factor of shortage of water is deforestation now first of all let us learn what is deforestation cutting of trees on large scale from the forest is known as deforestation as the population is increasing day by day we need more houses we need to set up more factories so we cleared up forest As you know rain and snow are the two main natural sources of water and as the number of trees are cutting rapidly the rainfall and snowfall is decreasing due to it due to climatic change our rainfall and snowfall is decreasing and it causes less rain water to prevent deforestation we should plant more and more trees before cutting them to maintain the balance in nature now the main factor of decrease in rainfall is factories setting up of factories as the demand increase for the food stuff clothing and other materials we need to set up more and more factories and factory needs large quantity of water then that quantity of water is fulfilled by underground water every day every day a huge amount of underground water is used by the factories but that underground water is not replenished at that same speed because as there is shortage of rainfall that underground water will not be filled again with the same speed this led to sharp decrease in the level of underground 
water and become a cause of scarcity of water so what we have to do how can we conserve water or what is conservation of water as we all know for each and every work we need water we need fresh water so water is a gift of nature for all living beings and it is very precious if we continue to waste water like this a time can come when there will be not enough water for all of us and for our future generation our crops can die due to lack of irrigation so it is our responsibility to save water now so that it remain available use in future also so it is our responsibility to save water and use it wisely for now and for future use now how can we conserve water the best way of conserving water is to avoid its over usage and wastage proper and careful utilization of water avoiding its wastage and maintaining the amount of water in different sources is known as water conservation that means you are using the source but you also save it for future use that is known as conservation here we are discussing about water so we use water now but in limitation so that it will be remain on earth for our future generation now let us learn what are the ways of conserving water in our day to daily life we can use it simply turn off the tap after using it do not keep the tap running while brushing teeth or washing hands generally it's of a habit to keep the tap running but it is the wastage of water so as we are learning to conserve water so do not keep the tap running use a mug and bucket to take bath instead of shower water the plant with bucket and mug instead of pipe even wash your car with a bucket and a mug instead of pipe take only that much water in your tumbler that you can drink do not throw the leftover water in the sink you can pour that water over your plants same way the water which is used to wash your vegetables fruits or pulses that water can also be used for watering plants but please mind don't use water which is used for mopping the floor for plant watering the plant immediately repair the your leaking taps and pipes this way we can conserve a lot of water from our daily life now let us learn how to conserve water on large scale do not over irrigate your fields as generally we saw many farmers use tube wells to water their fields and they keep it on for long hours the more you water your fields will not help crops to grow better but that water goes into the drain and become wastage you can use water sprinklers for the irrigation if your field is small you can do it manually or if your field is big enough then you can use automatic sprinklers the other way of conserving water is to build dams at that places where there is heavy rain fall it prevent floods and also store water on large scale it is important to carefully plan the size location and use of dam we also need to do rain water harvesting as much as it is possible as you saw in cities rain water flow directly into drains but that water should be collected in large underground tanks 
we can do rain water harvesting in two ways one in which we build tanks from where the water seeps into the ground and increase the underground water level and in other way we store that water in underground tanks and that tanks are connected to our pipes which we can use to water our plant use in our flush and other daily needs in this way we save and preserve water for our daily use and for future this type of rain water harvesting should be done in every home school office and factories we must take care to conserve water and preserve it for future use as all of us realize that every drop of water is important for sustaining life on earth so we should take a pledge to do our bit to save every drop of water i hope i make myself clear now you are able to understand what is water conservation and how can you prevent wastage of water for more updates keep watching my channel my way learning thanks for watching me don't forget to share subscribe and like my channel